Hi, I'm so happy you're joining us for our series on Wisdom and Wonder. This program is the brainchild of the Life Enrichment Center at Oyster Bay and our sponsors at Excel at Woodbury, Emerge Rehabilitation Center, Glen Cove Center for Rehabilitation, and the Lindbrook Restorative Therapy and Nursing. So I'm Judy from the Life Enrichment Center. We're a senior center on the North Shore of Long Island. Our mission is to provide older adults with all of the programs and services they need to enhance their life and to stay active, healthy, and engaged. At the center, we embrace aging and look forward to all of the opportunities we have yet to explore in our third act. So wisdom and wonder is about curiosity and how that curiosity leads to knowledge and knowledge to growth. It sounds very mystical, but it's simply being present in everyday living. So I welcome you to join us as we explore life through food, fitness, and fun, and so much more. Hi everyone, I'm Mary Frignani from the Life Enrichment Center. I'm the program coordinator. I've been here um, since 1993, so that makes it 28 years. And uh, my partner is Hi, I'm Nancy Far uh, Farinacio, and I've been working here at the Life Enrichment Center with Mary for probably almost 25 years. And we've been doing a lot of baking together for all these years. And today we're going to start off by baking a little piece of history. It's the Teddy's Apple Cake. And I'll give you a little bit of rundown about how we got this recipe. One of our members, um, a beloved member, Louise Chapman, um, it was her father worked for the Roosevelt estate. And this was um, Teddy Roosevelt's favorite cake. So um, <clears throat> they had this recipe passed down from generations and they got a hold of the recipe and they shared it with us and we ended up publishing it in one of our cookbooks. This is an old cookbook, Cook. maybe from 1996, um, I believe. Yes. And, um, and it's just a great recipe and um, you'll see why Teddy loved this recipe. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna add um, two cups of sugar. We pre-measured everything to make it easy. With one and a quarter cup of oil. And you just whisk that in. Then we're going to add, then we're going to add three eggs one at a time <clears throat> you wish that good mary yes i am <laughs> oh gee <laughs> sorry you need that hard surface <laughs> there we go until it's like a creamy color, right? Then we pre-measured our flour with our uh, baking soda. So it's three cups of flour with one teaspoon of baking soda and um, one teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna incorporate that in. Yeah, I'm going to add a little more flour. And it was pre-sifted. Okay, then into that, we're going to add our cinnamon and vanilla, a teaspoon of each. And it's really, this cake is so delicious. It's so simple and delicious. Now just the vanilla. Mm -hmm. See, it's a nice thick. Mm -hmm. 
a nice yeah. thick batter. Good muscle man. <laughs> I know. I I'm gonna. Muscle. I'll take over. <laughs> All right. So since that's incorporated, maybe okay. we we'll go with this now. All right. And well, then, Mary, if you up. wanna, I'll get that. And then, if you wanna start adding in the apples. Okay. It's a beautiful thick batter, and it turns into like a, a really firm cake. There we go. Tell me when. Go ahead. All right, she's raring to go. Mm -hmm. Very stiff dough. So that's three cups of diced, uh, peeled, and cored um, gala apples. And then, Mary, if you would, then it's one cup of chopped walnuts and one cup of raisins. Mm hmm There we go. And we've made this many times for our seniors um, over the years. We sold it at the Oyster Festival, and we uh, made it for our seniors. We made it for our bake sales, and it's really a great cake. Okay. And then once it's all incorporated, we turn it into our um, nine inch tube pan that's already greased and floured. So. so this is the consistency it should be like. It's a little stiff to mix, but the end result is just delicious. Okay. And I forgot to mention to preheat the oven, to 350 so and it bakes it'll bake for uh, one hour and 15 minutes okay so we'll just put it right into the two pan okay see see the consistency it's a real thick batter And back in Teddy's okay. time, there was no Cuisinarts or blenders, <laughs> mixers, <laughs> right? There we go. And according to the recipe, and um, even uh, Louise said that um, they all enjoyed this served uh, warm with vanilla ice cream. Who wouldn't like that? Delicious. Okay. Okay. Let me just get this here. Okay. And now it's ready for the oven. Great. Okay. Oh, I can't go far. <laughs> okay, so we will get this in the oven. And it's going to bake for an hour and uh, 15 minutes. This is our end result right here. Okay. I wish I had a towel. <laughs> Hold it up. Look. Isn't it beautiful? I'll, okay. I'll slice some up. Look at that. Delicious. You gonna try it, Mary? Yes, I have to. <laughs> I have to try it. <laughs> It's one of my favorites. There we go. Mm. Very delicious. Are you going to try, Nancy? <clears throat> there we go. Very good. I'll taste it.
and it's delicious. Thank you, Nancy, for such a delicious cake. It looks beautiful. You're welcome. It's not just delicious, it's a piece of Oyster Bay history. So the recipe for this delicious Teddy's apple cake will be on our website. Um, and it's our web address is www.lecob.org. Okay, thank you. Hope you have the time to try it. It's very easy and simple. Hi everyone, I'm Bridget and I'm from Daybreak. Daybreak is a day program for people with dementia and Alzheimer's at the Life Enrichment Center at Oyster Bay. At Daybreak we play all sorts of games like brain activity, um, chair exercise, trivia, all sorts of fun. Today we're going to do some programs that we do at our daily routine. This isn't just for people with dementia and Alzheimer's. I want everybody at home to try these exercises because as you know it's great to keep your mind healthy and strong. Why should we do brain exercises? According to the Alzheimer's Association, research shows that keeping your brain active increases the vitality. Doing new things in new ways appears to help retain brain cells and connections. It may even produce new brain cells. In essence, breaking out of your routine can help keep your brain stay healthy. So today we're gonna try a few of these things. One way to keep your brain healthy and strong is to do neurobics. Neurobics is our mental exercises designed to help neural pathways in the brain by using senses in unconventional ways to keep your brain stay active and your mind healthy. So we're gonna try and do things that you would do on a daily routine in a different way than you're used to. I'm gonna have my assistant Dorothy join me now to help me with these exercises. So these hand exercises are not only to help stimulate your brain, but also to help those with stiff hands and arthritic hands. So today we're gonna to put our fingers together, all, at, all your fingertips together. I'm gonna to start by rotating your thumbs. You're gonna rotate them over each other and then switch direction. This initiates different sparks in your brain. You're gonna go from each digit to the next. So you're gonna use your pointers your thumbs and your pointers you'll see are pretty easy because you use these fingers regularly. Then when you switch to the middle finger, it is a little more difficult. So this is awakening um, neural pathways in your brain to initiate your muscle movements. Then you're gonna switch directions. You see, it's, it's a little more difficult now. Now to your ring finger, which is a digit that you hardly ever use, to rotate it around each other. Gosh, You're gonna, this is hard. <laughs> it gets more difficult. Now switch directions on each finger. Your brain is not used to exercises like this. This is something good to do in the morning to wake yourself up. To now your pinkies. Again, your pinkies you do use pretty regularly, so it's not too difficult. And switch directions. All right. How's that feel? Good. Hard. A little difficult. <laughs> Especially the ring finger. Now I'm going to make it things very challenging. But don't be discouraged and you can try this regularly at home. You're going to start with one hand with thumbs up and your other hand in a peace sign. Simultaneously, you're going to alternate them. We're going to do, try and do this about 15 to 20 times. You'll see the challenge, but <laughs> as you do it regularly, it becomes easier. So you ready? Okay. Set and switch and switch see even I have difficulty switch keep going don't be discouraged 14, just, just 15, try no. <laughs> and keep your brain focused on just doing these challenges see in time it becomes easier but this is awakening parts of your brain that you just really haven't used which is good for brain health Finish three more. Good job. Yeah, all of a sudden it gets easy. Yeah. It does. What'd you think? Now we're gonna do another hand exercise that again is very challenging. So don't be discouraged and try it at home with us. With one finger, you're gonna make a circle going away from you. Okay. As you're doing that, you're gonna have your other hand come towards you. Okay. So you're doing one at a time. <laughs> 
and then you're going to do them simultaneously. Oh, wait, wait, I didn't, this one's going towards me, okay. It's easy if you think of it as you're doing a full circle on each hand individually. Really try to think about it. If you need to take a minute and pause. Oh, you're in my way. <laughs> So with, with your one hand, make a circle going away from you. And with your other hand, you're gonna bring a circle towards you. This is very tricky for your brain to this grasp. This is ridiculous, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is something that you can try on a daily basis. It's like um, when kids used to pat your belly and rub your head or something like that. This is just making circles with your fingertips. Once you get into it, you'll understand how easy it is. What? Then, <laughs> when you try and do it the opposite way, now bring that, the one that was going away from you, towards you. Maybe this will work better for I you. I haven't got it. I haven't got the first one. Okay. And bring your other finger away from you. Oh no, now, I, now, I'm, now I'm tricked up. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can't. Again, these are neural pathways that your brain has never used. It's good to wake them up, to challenge your brain to do things on a daily basis. At home, still continue to do your crosswords, your word searches, Sudoku, whatever makes you happy and keeps your brain active. But trying new things is also what's gonna awaken your brain and keep it strong for a lengthy period of time. Hello, my name is Adam Schwartz and I'm the director of the Cardiopulmonary Rehabilitation Program. Today we will be doing Tai Chi for a rehabilitative purpose. We want to focus on balance, mind-body relaxation, muscle relaxation, deep breathing, and flexibility training. Tai Chi encompasses many different things. We want to hone in on these areas for a functional purpose and to keep your body moving and relaxed.
Hello, my name is Daniela Badalamenti, and I'm the Director of Cardiopulmonary Rehabilitation. And welcome to Strength and Resistance Training. It is so vital to keep our muscles nice and strong so that we can sustain our everyday movements and do what we love to do. So, we're gonna get started. Grab a chair. If you don't have any weights, dumbbells or anything like that, water bottles, grab whatever is around the house. You'll need two of those. And also if you have a resistance band, just like this. So that will do, we'll need that. If you do not have that, you could always grab a towel. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is warm up our muscles. Really quickly, just doing some shoulder rolls. Okay. We're gonna do five, and then we're gonna do five forward. Good. Now we're just gonna twist a little bit and reach. Okay, really warm up our core. Reach. Warming up is so important so we don't prevent any injury. Nine and 10. Good. Now we're just gonna do a couple of arm circles. I like to do them this way so I can have my back also wake up a little bit, all my back muscles back there. And forward. I'm rocking my feet back and forth. Weight goes up too. All right. And just give me a big inhale and reach up. Exhale. I like to shake it out. Inhale again. Reach up. And exhale. Okay. So what we're going to do first, we're going to do a dumbbell section right now. Okay, we're going to be seated, so no need to worry. We're gonna start off simple. And when we do all of our exercises, they will be in, in minute intervals, meaning if you need a rest, if you need to drop a weight down, whatever you need to do, but don't stop moving, keep going. We're gonna start off with hammer curls. Okay, so what that is, you're just gonna bring your arm up to your shoulder like so. Okay, and the other side, left and right. For an added bonus, you can go ahead and kick your leg out. Good. Okay, so remember, we're doing this for a minute straight. Whatever weight you feel comfortable with, I would recommend the lighter weights. The goal of strength training is for us to keep going the entire time. No rest breaks, not for our muscles to become fatigued. All right. Great job, five seconds. All right, we're gonna take a break. Okay, our next move, I'll demonstrate before we get started, okay? We're gonna take these weights that you have, you're gonna come over to your side, okay? You're gonna gently press up and down and then we're gonna close it in, right towards the middle, okay? So I'm gonna call it open, overhead, down, and close, okay? Uh, the light weight is best, or you could just drop the weights and do active range of motion. Okay, we're gonna start. Three, two, one, open, overhead, down, and close. Open, overhead, down, and close. Keep it at a comfortable pace so that you can keep moving the entire time. Your back is straight, your tummy is tight, keeping your back nice and straight and sturdy so that we don't collapse. Good. For the last 10 seconds, I'm gonna add in a bonus. Okay, so when you lift your arms over your head, you're just gonna lift one knee up. And down, good. Okay. 
Okay, good job. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate our next move. Our palms will be facing the ceiling, just like so, and you're gonna row back. Okay, you're gonna pull your shoulder blades together in the back. This is really good at strengthening your, your back muscles, your traps. Okay, so now that we've seen it, let's get started. In three, two, one, keep it going. Pull it back, out, and pull it back, squeeze. Full range of motion. Again, you can drop the weights, you can use lighter weights, whatever you feel comfortable with. As long as you're keeping your arms moving. If you do drop the weights, I want you to hold it out just a little bit longer and a little bit longer when you pull in for a second or two. Okay. Okay, I'm even gonna drop the weights. Three, two, and one. Okay, drop those weights, take a little break. Next one we're gonna do is a shoulder shrug into a lift where your bottom is coming up into the air just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my weights. Your shoulders should be dangling down just like so. And you're going to bring your shoulders to your ears. So you're gonna shrug down. You're gonna lift your bottom up a little bit. Just engage those quads and come down. You don't need to be that far off the chair. Do whatever's comfortable for you as long as you're engaging your quads. Okay, and we're gonna start in three, two, one, okay, up, down, and lift. Good. Go as slow as you can. Really engage. My, your chest is up. We're breathing. Strengthening our quads. Good. You can go at your own pace. Up, down. This is really helping your upper traps and your shoulders. It's help with posturing. Remember to breathe. All right. And we got a couple more seconds here. Stay with me. Make sure your feet are rooted to the floor. Three, two, and one. Okay. We are done with the weights. You can put them over to the side. Okay, now we are gonna start with our resistance bands. So grab your resistance bands or your towel, okay? If you have a towel, the main thing you have to focus on is keeping that resistance and pulling your towel out, okay? Through all exercises. The first exercise we're going to do is just a simple, Shoulders up like so, and we're just gonna pull out, okay? Keeping our elbows locked. Okay, we're gonna start in four, three, two, one. Breathe out. When you pull away, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. You should be feeling this in your chest muscles, in your arms, your triceps. If it's too hard, you could always elongate it. Good, a few more seconds. Stay with me, guys. If you wanna drop your band, you can. Just do active range of motion. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna relax. I'm going to demonstrate the next move we are going to rest. I'll let you know when we're gonna get started. Our next move is just overhead. So you're gonna remain that tension throughout the resistance band and or towel. Elbows are still straight and locked. And we're gonna gently pull out and reach over our head and then come back down. Good, the tension remains. Okay, we're gonna start. Get ready in three, two, one, and up. Breathe out, breathe in. Okay, let's go faster a little bit. Whew. 
Remember to keep that tension. Really doing great for your shoulders right now, your arms, keeping them locked. We have a few more seconds. Okay, and rest. Okay, you're doing a great job, guys. Now I'm gonna demonstrate our last move. We're going to keep one of our hands anchored at our kneecap. So I'm gonna keep my left hand anchored at my kneecap, just like this, and I'm gonna bring my right arm up. Okay, keep it straight. We're going to be moving as a diagonal, like a disco, going up and down. If you do have a towel, you'll just remain kind of doing little pulses, okay? And we're gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. Do what you can, do whatever feels comfortable. Keep it moving. When you're going up, I'd like to breathe out. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. Your right hand is now the anchor on your right kneecap, and you're bringing your left hand to your right side, and then you're gonna disco. Okay, let's start in three, two, one. Really feeling it, breathe through it. Good. Last couple seconds, three, two, got one one in there, and one. Thank you for joining us. Please be sure to cool down and rest your muscles, and I'll see you next time. Well, that was our program. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope we got you moving and gave you a little food for thought. If you would like to find the recipes or use the exercise programs again, you can find this episode on our website at lifeenrichmentcenteroysterbay.org. I would like to thank our sponsors again, Glen Cove Center for Rehabilitation, Emerge Rehabilitation Center, Excel at Woodbury, and Lynbrook Restorative Therapy and Nursing. So until next time, stay active, healthy, and engaged, and we will see you soon.